from coming up next this evening, we have Eric Rapp from Drexel Hill, Pennsylvania. We've had a uh, great artist, two great artists already this evening. And um, <clears throat> still have a few more artists to come. Hopefully you'll join us for the rest of this evening. I'm having a good time. I don't know about y'all. Definitely. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing this evening? Good. I'm just always so amazed at how much relatively unknown talent there is out there in the Christian. Right, world. right. Unique sounds, different voices. Um, just, I'm just so impressed with uh, what I've seen. I do watch the uh, the videos. I'm normally out uh, on on nights doing my own events, but I have been right. catching a lot of the the Facebook events and just just amazing. And tonight's just you know blowing me away. Yep, I'm excited. Uh, excited to hear what you got for us this evening. And uh, there's several artists tonight that I've never got to meet before or never heard before on here. It's fantastic. Great, great. What's the first song you have for us this evening? I'm going to do a song called Deeper, Higher, and Wider. And uh, I figured since we've had a lot of really awesome uh, acoustic music, I'll do, uh, I'm going to do kind of a rocker. Yeah, yeah. bring Deeper, it. Higher, wider. And it really, <laughs> talks about, really talks about the fact that, you know, our Lord is unlimited. There's no limit to him. And I, and I, I meet a lot of Christians uh, over the years and all over the world, and I just find that um, I hope we're not settling for less of all that he is because he is always going to be more. He's always going to have uh, something richer and deeper, higher and wider for us. Okay. So here it is. <laughs> And higher and wider Beyond the box Around my mind Deeper and higher and wider Unhindered What will we find? Take me where you want me to be Open my eyes to see what you want me to see. Take me where you want me to be. Open my eyes to see what you want me to see. And I'll worship you in truth and in spirit with my mind, heart, and soul without limit. Worship you in truth and in spirit with my mind, heart, and soul without limit. Deeper and higher and wider, melting into your love. Deeper and higher and wider.
find Take me where you want me to be Open my eyes to see What you want me to see What you want me to see just blowing me away i didn't expect that i didn't expect that at all i didn't expect that voice for sure like that's amazing (laughs) you got you got like big band voice with like that rock that is fantastic i'm uh really enjoying reading your bio right now um i would love for you to tell me a little more about your testimony in a nutshell and your ministry real quick that's a, that's a perfect segue to the next song I'm going to do. Because I'm going to change it up a little bit. This is kind of like more like a ballad. But um, this song talks about the... Um, I, was, I grew up Jewish in a Jewish home. And I really didn't know anything about Jesus or whatnot. But I, I was about, I don't know, between 17 and 20 years old. I was a walking disaster area. Uh, as my testimony says, I was a drug addict. I was alcoholic. I was... Um, I was, you know, just, just so mentally, uh, and physically, uh, and spiritually out. I mean, almost, 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 you could say dying. I don't think that that would be an exaggeration at all. And, um, when I, so I got saved and I, again, I didn't know anything. Uh, I got saved in an instant, by the way, uh, just like, like one of those instantaneous things in a crazy place that didn't didn't seem like the normal religious or the normal way that people get saved, but it was, it's what happened. And um, so anyway, the story behind this is that somebody gives me a Bible. Again, not knowing anything or having any background, I start reading it from Genesis. And I I didn't understand what was going on there. So I started asking everybody that I knew that thought might know anything, you know, what is, what is this about? And somebody says to me, you know what you should do? You should read Revelation first. Awesome. And, and, then, awesome. And, and then you'll understand more. Well, that was, you know, that led me down this trail. Of, I guess I don't get this at all, right? Because I didn't, ha- I didn't have the basics yet. I didn't have the right. just the foundation right. of Jesus Christ of just knowing. I didn't know what happened to me. All I knew that I was 100% changed in an instant. That's all I knew. So somebody says to me finally, you know what you should do? You should just read Psalm 23 until it sinks in. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures beside still waters. And you know what I've come to find over the years? I still go back to that. Yep. That simple, that simple Psalm. And I've also come to realize the fact that I don't really go to still waters. It's not like I'm behind, uh, that, that the Lord leads me to a still water or to a green pasture. He himself. Yes. Has Amen. Yep. Still- Yes, yes. The water and that green pasture. So this song's my little uh, kind of um, version of uh, Psalm 23, and it's called Lead Me to the Water. Fantastic.
no rest for my soul in this realm of unrest. On a suffocating, I need a place to hide. My soul, it's not refreshed, can't be satisfied. Joy is fleeting, even at the world's best. Temporal things, they last for but a moment. Success may be sweet, but shallow to this soul. Chasing this wind is so irrelevant Then out of the nonsense I hear your call You lean into the water that is still I lie in these green pastures At your table I am filled You're the one I follow I sail on your breeze As it sweetly passes I give way I can't resist Your drawing Soaring free In this other realm no cares here you fulfill my every need the more I let go the more I'm overwhelmed all I want is to go where you
That was another phenomenal song. Thank you. I'm enjoying this. I'm having a good old time over here. <laughs> That's great. That's great. I, I'm, I'm glad you are. It's funny you mentioned, you know, about the big band sound. I, that's not the first time I've heard that. Yeah. Uh, some people, you know, I, I, you know, I grew up, I grew up, uh, my parents listened to a lot of like Frank Sinatra and Tony Bennett. I hear and, that. I hear yeah. that. I love it. I love I'm all it. for it. <laughs> so it kind of, it kind of stuck and I got a big mouth anyway. So I kinda. love that. It's fantastic. So uh, I'd love to hear more where we can find you on social media and Things like that. Sure. Thank you for asking. Um, well, I'm on Reverb Nation. I'm on all the streaming platforms. Uh, YouTube. I'm starting to get more and more out on YouTube um, and uh, uh, Instagram. Uh, what I'm doing on Instagram and Facebook is I'm introducing, kind of like James. It was interesting that, that James said that uh, he's, in, he's doing kind of releasing one song a month until July. I started in the beginning of the year release, releasing one song a month. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, it's April now, and I think I'm only up. Uh, I think I only got six out. So, but I'm I'm still you know I'm still moving forward. It's been a very busy, busy summer, which has been great. Um, but uh, but so there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of content out there. Uh, please follow on Facebook and YouTube. I go through explaining some of these songs a little bit more in depth uh, as I, as I'm releasing them. The songs you've been hearing so far are songs that. Uh, from both of those songs are from my first album, uh, my first studio album. Uh, I did a lot of like, you know, home albums and things like that, which were okay. <laughs> but uh, these, these are from a studio <laughs> album, uh, that my first one called uh, Beyond Our Horizons. Um, and there's two albums out there, uh, Beyond Our Horizons and The Intention, and then all this new stuff that I'm releasing once a month. So. Awesome, fantastic. You have another song for this this evening? Yeah, um, how about if I do something a little bit more mellow? I know there's been a lot of mellow, but this is kind of nice because it's got a really nice string thing in it. And um, just give you a little variety. And hopefully I can come back and do, you know, more of whatever people like. So I like all of it. You can just do whatever. You just, just do whatever. Great. Uh, this song is called You Exceed. And uh, there's a little, there's a little musical thing at the end that we'll talk about, but it's "You Exceed My Heart's Desire." It's really written after when Moses said, after all that Moses had seen, he goes to the Lord. He said, "Show me Your glory." Mm. It's always more to ask. You exceed my heart's desire Yet I ask you take me higher There are places I know I've never been I hear you say I'm here Please come in Touch my face and I am stilled Frozen there my heart is filled A love so strong It's hard to believe I want to give as well as receive Sight of me, a fire burns. It's your love that I return. Empty me and fill me again. This exchange will never come.
musical little thing at the end there for for you musicians out there I don't know if you noticed but the song didn't resolve it's in the key of D and normally yep. it would have been come to an end come to an end but it didn't it just hung on this a and it ended there and the point of that little musical cutie thing there is just that it doesn't come to an end we never reach the end of the Lord's love. We never reach the end of what the Lord has for us. We just need to keep, keep asking. If we knock, he answers. He never does not answer. When Amen. we call, there's more of him. So. Yep, the scripture says if we call on him, he'll answer us. He will. He will. He's waiting. He's just waiting for us to just say a little peep to him, and he's waiting with bated breath to, to pour himself out on us. Amen. What is the last song you have for this is seeming? Well, how about if I do kind of like a worship Rocky kind of thing? Yeah, um, yeah. It's all good. I hope Whatever I, you want. I did something. I kicked something that's very li- I kicked something before my, my, uh, my solo sound went out, so hopefully I got it back. <laughs> Sounds like I got it back. Okay. Um, So this is called Only One. He's the only one. And uh, I think it, it hopefully will explain itself. You're the only one that we're longing for You're the only one that we're thirsty for You're the only one that we hunger for It's only you It's only you Your presence has become our home We're more aware we're never alone This world continues to fade away And I hear you say Just come away And we obey It's only you, it's only you We know that in our hearts you reign Always there but our minds they lose sustain We ask that you remind us just to turn And the more we turn, internal flames burn, and our hearts yearn. You're the only one that we're longing for. You're the only one that we're thirsty for. Oh, 
the fall It's only you It's only you You're the only one That we are longing for You're the only one That we are thirsty for Phenomenal. Wow, it's just been fantastic tonight. We've had three fantastic artists. I'm so excited. And we're not done. It's been so fantastic to have you, Eric. Thank you so much for being on here, for sharing the light of Jesus through song, through lots of rock sound and amazing, and the big band voice. It's been fantastic. <laughs> Thanks for, uh, you did a great job. Thank you. You've been doing a great job. Well, thank you. I enjoy being on this side of things. I enjoy all the people I get to meet. I'm very much a meeting people from wherever I can kind of person. I'm the person that will talk to you in the grocery store. My kids are like, what are you doing? We need more of that. Wow. Yeah. 